Building muscle doesn't just come down to working out and proper nutrition. There's actually a third component, and the irony is it doesn't have anything to do with the muscles. This actually comes down to your connective tissue known as fascia. Because if you understand what our fascia is, you understand the critical role it plays in delivering nutrients, hydration, and actually allowing your muscles to expand and grow. So if your goal is to build muscle, then this video is for you. The fascia system is your connective tissue. It literally holds every system, every structure, every muscle fiber, and every cell in your body together. It's like skin to the body. It's like it's the skin to the cell. It holds everything together. So now you can only imagine that the more you work out, it's not just your muscles that become tight. More often than not, it's actually your connective tissue because your fascia holds everything together. So now let's say for instance, your goal is to build muscle. I get it. I also had many goals of building muscle and I still do at times. A lot of people think you need to perform strenuous exercise and have a proper diet and that's the winning ticket. You're not wrong. You still need to, of course, do that. But what happens when you become more compressed over time? Because what are you doing in the gym? You're literally forcefully compressing your muscle. You're trying to tear your muscle tissue so that it can rebuild to get bigger and stronger. But you have to think of it like this. Every time you go to the gym and you have this micro tearing in your cells, that's actually technically an injury. Now, if you don't treat that injury properly, then that's gonna start building up more adhesions and more scar tissue on a microscopic scale. So if you've been doing this for months, years, decades, you can only imagine how compressed you will become. So that's why it is so important that you have to release the connective tissue to actually promote proper blood and oxygen flow to cells, but to also just allow the muscle to expand. So think of a fishnet. If you had a steak and then you got a fishnet and you wrapped it around as tight as you can, and then the more you tighten it, it doesn't matter if that muscle is still working out, it's still restricted by that net. You need to release that net just to give the muscle space, allow it to breathe, allow it to actually grow and get bigger. So a lot of the time when people can grow certain areas in their body, it's not just genetics. Now, sure, genetics play a role in, in some instances, but for a lot of the times you can be very compressed in certain areas or very twisted. So it's actually twisting and suffocating that muscle. So we need to release it and allow it to go back to how it's actually supposed to perform because muscles are very linear. They work in a linear action. The connective tissue isn't linear. It's quite opposite. It's a three-dimensional matrix that holds every system cell structure in the body together. So if you can grow a certain muscle, it might not just be the muscle's fault. It could be a different area in the body that's pulling the shoulder joint out of alignment and it's actually preventing that muscle from articulating properly. So you can see how there's more to the equation than just working out and proper nutrition. You need to decompress your connective tissue through a fascia decompression technique. And that is only gonna compliment you when it comes to muscle building. And I've competed in eight bodybuilding shows and this has been a massive tool and compliment to my training, my recovery, my muscle growth, and my performance. So this is something that I would highly recommend that you do. So what I'm doing, I'm gonna put together a little series here where it's gonna be called Muscle Building Secrets. Let's throw it up, Muscle Building Secrets. And this is gonna show you how to decompress different areas of your body to help those muscles grow but you're also gonna notice other benefits. Your mobility is gonna improve. You're gonna feel better. You're gonna recover quicker. You're gonna be able to potentially put up more weight because you're actually integrating more cells into your body to allow your body to actually push the weight properly. So we don't wanna just forcefully tear the same cells over and over and over. So what we want to do is remove that barricade and actually start reintegrating these cells that have been dormant over time. So that is the goal. So if you like this idea, please give this video a thumbs up. Comment below what areas of the body you want me to start showing you how to grow and make sure you subscribe. I'll see you in the next video.